Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to show you five different strength exercises you can do with a resistance band at home for wheelchair curling performance. Now, the bands are relatively cheap. You can buy resistance bands for about anywhere around $20. Uh, all you need is an anchor point or someone helping you out with this. Um, and always, again, make sure that you are safe in every exercise. There should be no pain in anything you can do and you should be safe in everything you do. And that means whenever we're doing an exercise drill here, we are going to do it slowly and make sure that we are stable. We don't want any falling off the chair or anything like that. If there's exercises you can't do because there's either pain or you don't have the mobility to do it, don't do it, <laughs> all right? And it might be something that we can never do. It might be something that we can actually work up to doing in the future. All right, so first exercise we're gonna do here is a resistance band row. So we're going to start off with the band at an anchor point and then you're going to put your arms straight up as much as you can, okay, as long as you feel stable. And then we're just going to pull back. So go ahead, we're going to do a few repetitions here and just keep going back and forth, a nice rhythmic pace, nice and slow. And you want to think about your shoulder blades here, there's lemons between those shoulder blades. As you pull, you want to squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze those lemons, make some lemonade, okay? So that's the row, okay? The second exercise we want to do, we can stay in the same position here, is we're going to do the band curl. Let's do one arm at a time to make sure that we're very stable. So go ahead, we're going to do the one curl. Good. And what we want to do is up to 12 repetitions for the rows and 12 repetitions of this exercise. Two to three sets of 12 repetitions per exercise is really what we're going for. Um, that's a really good way just to kind of maintain and even build strength and performance. Very good, how was that, good? Good. Right on, so that's, that's the uh, resistance band curl, okay? The next exercise is going to be the resistance band chest press. Now, uh, you can either wrap the band around uh, the pegs around your chair here so it doesn't come up your back, um, or if you want, you can turn the, uh, your chair around or if you have someone helping you out and put it on the anchor point. Um, but ultimately what we're going to do here is we're going to try to do, basically do a push and then come back. Now this is a resistance band. As you press out, it's really going to want to pull you back. So you have to be in control. So nice and slow on the way back. Right? And that's where you're really going to get that strength benefit. Right on. So challenge yourself uh, up to 12 repetitions. If 12 is too easy, you're going to need a heavier band or you need to have an anchor point that's a little bit farther away from you. So you might need some assistance with that. No problem. How is that? Good. Right on. Very good. Excellent. So that's the resistance band chest press. So the next exercise we're going to do, I'll take this from you here, is the payoff press. Now the payoff press, if I can get you just to move yourself that way, the payoff press is a core exercise. The thing about core exercise, if you don't have the activity in the abdominals, the serratus muscles, the upper body muscles in your chest, your shoulders, and your upper back are going to compensate. But you have to feel safe in this exercise. So when you do it, do it as light as you possibly can. You want to feel just the slightest bit of tension. Okay, And if you can do that, and you can maintain your posture upright, then you know that you can eventually get stronger and go a little bit heavier. If you can't, then it's not worth the risk, so don't do it, okay? So here's what the payoff press is. We're gonna go grab the band, okay? What I'm going to do here is just loop the handle through, like so. I think that's a little bit <laughs> okay? So grab the band, and it doesn't have to be the end. You just wanna make sure that you're grabbing the band with two hands, just right up, just like that, you got it. Start with it at your chest, okay? And what you're going to do is you're gonna push straight out and the tension that band's gonna to wanna to pull you in that direction. Your job is as you press out, not let it. So you're fighting it from pulling you to one side, okay? So only a little bit of tension. And when you can do that really well and it's easy, then you can, you know, you can make the band a little bit harder by stretching it out a little bit farther. Uh, and then that's how it gets, uh, that's how you get stronger. But you have to make sure that you're very safe in this one and you feel good. You're doing really good right now. How's that feel? Good. Good. And of course, once you do to one side, you've got to do the other side. So once you've done this side, um, 
we won't do it in the video, but uh, assume that if you're gonna do this side, you're gonna have to turn around and do it on the other side as well. So you wanna balance out that body. So that is the payoff press. Awesome, really good job. All right, the last exercise is done with a mini band, so it's a, or a loop band if you wanna call it. And uh, there's actually three angles that we're gonna work at. And again, this works to your back muscles and also works to your shoulders. So we're gonna put the band just uh, around your wrists. And we're gonna start off at a high point. So we're gonna put the band overhead. And you're gonna pull down towards your chest and try to separate the band at the same time so you get that tension there. Very good. And then right back up. So we wanna do about four repetitions in this angle. Then we're gonna do the next angle, which you kind of bring it up about nose height. So it's not like a, an angle. There we go. And then pull down towards the chest again. Good, yeah, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good. And then the last one we're gonna do is medium. So straight out in front of you. And then pull, good. And then back out, good. Making sure you're breathing, which you are, which is fantastic. Excellent. And you're doing the best that you can, making sure that you're taking a slow, so that way we're stable, our posture is stable. We don't want to be all over the place in the chair. We want to be very uh, nice and stable, just as you are, fantastic. Right on. So those are the exercises. Again, we got the band rows for up to 12 repetitions. Then we got the band bicep curls for up to 12 repetitions. Then the band chest press for up to 12 repetitions. The payoff press, if you can do it, do it up to 12 repetitions per side. And then we've got the mini band bat wing. If you have a mini band, uh, this is an add on. You can do it. Uh, and we do four high, four medium high, and then four at the medium angle. And if we can do three, two to three sets of each exercise, resting about a minute in between, um, you're going to do really well. So that's the resistance band strength training workout uh, for wheelchair curling. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know. You can email me at rob at rmfit.com. Have a great day.